They say it began when two people saw a last fruit on a shop shelf and reached for it in the same moment. Being from different lands, one person called the thing a tane and the other a lombok, and their words rose in volume and descended in tone. Where Words Once Were is a play set in a futuristic society. We've created a world where we have to limit the words that we use. We're limited to a thousand words. One boy called Orhan, who's a baker in that world, accidentally falls in love with a girl who's a member of the silence. She's lost her right to speak and use words. I think the workshop process here at the Kennedy Center is a beautiful process because it's literally, here's a room, here's some incredibly creative people in this room, just play for four days. The making of art is always, and I think always should be, a nerve-wracking thing, kind of imbued with a bit of risk because you're essentially inventing a world together and who knows how that will go. Uh, so it's a lovely thing to, over morning, find yourself in a place halfway around the world from where you live and do a lot of handshakes and hellos with people and then to get to know them over five days of kind of sharing and creating together. You are a good friend. I like you very much. You, I am not so sure about. <laughs> you talk too much. So stop listening then. I am not listening, that is the point. Oh, is that the point? Because I did not know where the point that was. Is so great, so now I know. Now you know. Now. The script really evolved. It grew over the, the course of the, the four days, the five days that we were together on its own. It's a really beautiful process to be in a workshop because you get to see the piece grow. Everything was allowed to be deconstructed, so we've spent a week unpacking it together, and then I'd go off and write and try to rebuild where we found absences or, or things that needed polishing. And five days later, the work we're left with is markedly different. It's really testimony to, to the collective ideas and generosity of that group. I find with so much work for TYA, the child audience is told what they should take away from a piece, and I think it's a supposition which we wouldn't necessarily do with adults. So a child watching this is allowed to take away from it absolutely anything they wish.